It's the age-old debate, fresh versus faux. And usually when it comes to designer handbags and shoes, you usually want to avoid faux. But we're here to tell you today that it's okay to either pick fresh or faux when it comes to holiday decor. We're going to be showing you the benefits to both. We'll break it down while showing you how to select real-looking foliage. And we grouped it into three categories, Christmas trees, wreaths and centerpieces, and poinsettias and plants. That's right, you know, Mailing, you would think it's so simple. You just go get a Christmas tree. Well, do you want a first? Do you want a, a fir? Do you want a cedar? Do you want um, a pine? Like there are so many different varieties. And what you'll find is that all the needles look different. And one of the best things about faux is that you can fully customize it to your home. And one of the things that we love is um, Balsam Hill has a tree finder quiz on their website where you can go on and you can say, my home is, my walls are this high. I like this style. Um, and so it's really cool because then they can send you a branch kit and you can look through like, this is a spruce. What does this look like? All of these are different species of trees. Um, and so a benefit to um, faux is that you can pick that and make it how you would like it. Or if you're doing fresh, you could change it every year. And if you think you're gonna miss out on that scent, don't worry, you can have first scent too. And one of the things, Kelly, that I loved when we were putting this together was learning more about the meanings behind all of those holiday traditions that we do every year. And one of those is the Christmas wreath. Back in the 16th century, people were resourceful even back then. And so they were they were pruning the Christmas trees and they were taking the trimmings and they were making garland and wreaths and all sorts of different things. So just like they were resourceful back then, we can be resourceful today too. And so one of the benefits of having faux wreaths and centerpieces is that you can use them year after year. Um, you can take them indoors and outdoors. Sometimes when you get a real one, as much as I love a real wreath um, and the smell of it, if you bring it indoors, it's you know indoors for the rest of the year. So we love this centerpiece from Balsam Hill. You can use this at your house. It's also a great housewarming gift too when you're going to someone's dinner. The other thing to consider too um, as a benefit for faux centerpieces and wreaths is that if people have allergies, again, it makes it you can still have that fabulous holiday look and you're not sneezing the whole time. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, and carrying on with that tradition, we all are familiar with the poinsettia plant. It's it's become, you know, iconic at the Christmas season because it represents cheer and goodwill. But if you take it a step further for the religious meaning, they actually think that the leaves are the star of Bethlehem and the deep red is the blood of Christ. And one of the things that's so great about this being a gift giving plant um, is that whether it's faux or fresh, you can have it indoor or outdoor and you know traditionally you would maybe get it in the middle of December but if you have faux you can start decorating this weekend uh, and, and get all your Christmas things out so we love those from Balsam Hill they can be garlands or wreaths or of, of course potted plants. For more holiday tips and tricks head to familyentourage.com.